All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today was gonna be a video where I was gonna start off by showing you guys the new Odyssey battery tie down that I got from Grim Speed and showing you how I was gonna take the old Odyssey battery that I had in the Boss Zero 2, which is a lightweight battery, and putting it in this car, but something finally came in that I've been dying to show you guys. It's been out of the car for a while now. I've had it at a shop. They finally told me it was done. I, I couldn't wait. I had to get it in the car, guys. All right, I gotta show you this thing. All right, come here. Okay, yes, you are seeing this correctly, guys. This is a fully wrapped Alcantara steering wheel. So I decided to tease this uh, yesterday on the Facebook groups. There's two Facebook groups I posted a quick teaser photo of, and everyone's gone crazy asking a bunch of questions, and I'm gonna answer all those questions right now in the video. I figured I'd do it in the video and make the most sense for me. So. First and foremost, yes, this is a 100% real Alcantara and it is not a cover. It is not a slip on, do it yourself, stitch kind of deal. This is 100% done by an upholstery shop, a local upholstery sh shop to me. I reached out to them. I had seen that they had done a ton of work on a lot of cars and I asked them, I said, hey, have you guys ever done one of these before? The owner uh, said, yeah, I've done a few of them now. He's like, they're not easy. Uh, and they take a lot of work. So I'll break all that down for you guys how this went down. So I took the steering wheel off the car, brought it over to the upholstery shop. They cut off the original leather wrap on the steering wheel and used that as a template. So by using that, they were then able to figure out how much material they needed and get it on. Now, when I originally went to them, they had a couple different options and they're like, well, this is like an Alcantara, but they're like, it doesn't stretch enough. And I said, okay, well, what about the real deal? Like Alcantara is the brand. It's not necessarily the material. Alcantara is, is the company. Think of like when we say Kleenex, we, we mean a tissue, right? But really it's, it's Kleenex is the brand. So we got a sample kit of the genuine Alcantara in and sure enough, yes, it, it stretched enough that he was like, okay, I can definitely make this happen for you. This will work perfectly fine. So it was probably a about well it was over eight hours of, of work he had the thing for a week and uh it, it took him the whole week to get it done for me and and i i no problem i just left the car let it sit here in the garage i've been working on it anyway so i figured why not okay so that covers yes this is real alcantara no it's not a slip-on cover you can buy find a local upholstery shop that that's honestly my suggestion this cost probably half of what I've seen some steering wheel options for these cars that personally, this is just me, I'm not a fan of the look. I, I wanted this, I wanted this look. I wanted it to look as if it was OEM. I wanted this to be as if people would take a second guess and go, is, is that how that car came? I'm not sure, right? That was the whole point. I, I explained that to him in detail when we were first talking about it and he was like, yeah, no problem. I got you, I know what you need. So couple of things that a lot of guys kind of said. And if you're new to my channel or you're, you're just like following me for the focus stuff, you know, you may not have known this, but yes, I had a Boss 302 before and those come with an Alcantara wrap steering wheel. That's why I did this. I fell in love with having that steering wheel on the car. So I am completely aware of the pros and the cons of having an Alcantara wrap steering wheel. And these are some of the things you guys need to decide for yourselves as well. Everybody's different. And everyone has a different style and what they like. That's why we all like to modify our cars, right? We do it the way we like it. But for me, first off, I don't get really sweaty hands. And if you're like me, then an Alcantara steering wheel is something you can consider. But if you're the kind of guy that gets really sweaty hands a lot, this material is going to get beat up and it's going to happen. And I made a video. If you look at my channel, you'll see it down below. I actually did a video on how to clean an Alcantara steering wheel and bring it back to life. And it truly does help. It will bring the steering wheel back to life, but it's never going to be as good as it was when it was brand new. That's fine. When I take this car to the track, and that's the main reason I did this, I'm you always wearing gloves with the exception of, well, the last time I was on track, <laughs> but that was my own fault. That had nothing to do with, uh, you know, there's no other reason other than I just was in a rush and, and didn't uh, put my gloves on. So that said, 
if you're wearing gloves and they're kind of like a suede material anyways, the two of them together provide phenomenal grip. You don't have to be clutching the steering wheel. And that's one of the first things you got to learn when you start to track a car is not to be death gripping this thing and just freaking out and holding on. You've got to have like a nice kind of soft but firm handhold on it. And having the gloves combined with the Alcantara, I found that I always felt very confident in how I felt the steering wheel felt in my hands. So that was one of the main reasons why I did it. But let's be honest, guys, this just looks amazing. I mean, the quality of the stitch work they did is incredible. I asked them to get this little red stripe here up at 12 o'clock. So this is actually suede, like real suede, because it didn't make sense. I have to buy the Alcantara in a yard. So a ton of material. So that kind of brings up another point that I was looking through all the comments and a couple of people saying, well, why would you just do the steering wheel? Well, I'm not, <laughs> it's gonna be a slow process, but I am going to get the shifter boot done. Uh, I will get the uh, emergency brake cover. But the other thing that I was thinking about doing is these panels, these fabric panels that are on the door cards. I'm gonna wrap those in Alcantara. And as you can see, my, my car is an ST3 and it has the optional carbon fiber trim package you know with the shifter the e-brake the bezel and then on the door cards as well right so because i have all that i just felt like you know what it really needs this look at this to kind of finish it off is this nice tasteful alcantara so i am so pumped to have this it's like i said you know i'm completely aware of the pros and cons but hey i mean a lot of cars come from the factory of Alcantara, so I don't think car manufacturers are going to be doing that if they don't think it's pretty cool too, and if they don't think there's some longevity as long as you're taking care of it, which I'm aware of. And I personally believe very strongly that if you're going to do it, spend the extra bucks, get the real Alcantara, because I think that's what's really going to help show the longevity of the material, and it's going to help it to last. But a couple things, you know, if we're getting kind of into the details when they redo this this is all glued along this edge because the factory leather is actually glued along that seam as well and i think they did an amazing job it fits perfectly it is tucked underneath here so this looks really good it's nice and tucked just like a factory piece and i mean the way they did the stretch everything's perfect i asked them to kind of make sure this was really subtle so you don't, even though it's got these stitch lines here for where that original kind of perforated leather was it blends in really nicely. You know, I didn't want this stripe to be huge. I wanted it to kind of be, that's just about right. I almost wanted it a little bit smaller, but I, I'm more than happy with that. I know the Viper ACR, the things like that wide, it's just a bit ridiculous to me, but this looks good. I'm, I'm happy. It's, it's always hard when you're paying someone to do something that you've, you didn't do yourself. So you're kind of leaving it in their hands and their interpretation. But I think this turned out amazing. So I'm super, super pumped on that. All right, guys. Well, like I said, today's video, I wanted to kind of make it a little bit about the battery tie down, but I, I had to show you guys this. It was so cool. So what we're gonna get started on real quick right now, and you know what? I, I'm probably gonna leave it for another episode because this one's already run a few minutes long. And, and I mean, it's a cool steering wheel. It, it deserves its own episode, guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I answered all your questions. If you do have a few more questions about it, please definitely leave uh, them down below in the comments. Keeping in mind, I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, so I found a local shop to me. My biggest suggestion to you guys is find a shop around you that has a good reputation that has done steering wheels before. Ask them if they can get the genuine Alcantara and if they can do this for them. Heck, show them the video if you want an example, guys. It's there for you to use it for that. But believe me, you don't need to spend a crazy amount of money buying these aftermarket steering wheels to get it done. I personally think you could, you know, not have your car for a week. That kind of sucks. But for me right now with the whole COVID thing, I'm working from home. So it wasn't that big of a deal. It was the right time for me to do it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate everything. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.